Welcome for another episode of Your Review Channel. Do appreciate you stopping by for this one. It's all about the flip clock. Why did my flip clock stop working? I'm going to take it apart and look at it and figure it out. That's all I have to say about that. Let's take a look at the flip clock and see what's going on with that motor. Before we get into the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out, as you all know. I appreciate that. So let's get into the video and see why this clock stopped flipping. Okay, so I got the clock and I wanted to take it apart. It's the first time me working on this type of, of clock. I've never taken apart totally a flip clock. I've saw on some tutorials online. Um, so basically there's some there's three screws in the back. I'm gonna play this kind of fast because it's really long. I don't want to get just show you pretty much these really long screws you take out in the back and there's three of them. You take out the three screws in the back and we're gonna get to the bottom of it, why it's not flipping. Then you have to take off these these uh, little side knobs so you get the volume control and you have also the flip control side everything pulls off it they're tough to get off but they do come off so just give it a wiggle give it some little you know a little pull be very careful screwdriver everything pops off so just you know take your time you don't want to crack anything because the idea is to try to fix the radio right so that's the idea behind it so hopefully <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this but you know it stopped working it was intermittent off and on and I just want to really try to find out what's going on so it's quite a fresh range. So I couldn't get this piece out over here. As you can see, it's kind of tough to get out. So I had to push it down with a screwdriver and uh, kind of pop it underneath the plastic. And eventually, a little bit of work, it got loose. And you can just see in a minute. And this is a GE clock. I'll leave the, uh, the model number down below. Uh, any questions or comments, uh, leave below. Hope you liked the video so far. I just really wanted to get in to see why this flip clock wasn't working. and to tell you pretty much what to expect and what to do. So <clears throat> tuna worked fine, everything worked fine, everything was clean, everything worked, but the, the flip clock stopped flipping. It's like, you know, what's going on? So take out the last screw that holds the, the uh, actual clock itself and the flip, pull it out of the chassis, no problem, everything comes out, and there's the motor. So the motor was spinning. Okay, so the motor's, the motor's spinning. I'm saying, well, okay, maybe there's a lubrication issue, maybe it needs a little bit of oil, maybe it needs to be cleaned, you just never know, right? I mean, you never know how things are gonna go. So, the, so you know, I oiled it, I cleaned it, I, I blew it out with that compressed air, and it still wouldn't work. But the clock did run, the, the motor was running. So, okay, so I'm trying to figure this out, I'm trying to, you know, I'm going over it, going, trying to lube everything, trying to figure out what's going on, maybe it's stuck, you know, maybe it's gunked up, you know, the traditional things, because the motor's running. So I said, okay, so something's wrong. So it still wasn't running. So eventually I took the motor out. There's two screws there, one on top, one on the bottom. And I just, I had to take it out. I just couldn't do it anymore. I just had to see what's going on. I'm the kind of person who just likes to get into the nitty gritty. So I took out the motor. There was two screws there, one bolt here, one bolt there. Took out the motor. Um, and just be very careful when you're doing this. If you're gonna plug it in, check it, just so you don't want to electrocute it. So the motor was spinning, but the gear wasn't turning. I said, oh, something's wrong. So that's, that's an issue. The problem with this motor, it looks like it has screw heads, but it's not. It's riveted. So you can't open it up and do anything. So I said, the hell with that. I got my drill and drilled out the rivets because I wanted to see what's going on. It's not working anyway. What's the difference? I might as well just look at it. So that's what I did. Pulled out the old power drill and just drilled out the rivets. And just to see what's going on. That way you know what's going on. I'll tell you. So that way you can learn what's wrong with your flip clock if that ever happens to you. If it's turning the motor, but the other gear's not turning, it's something else inside, internally. And unfortunately, you can't service this motor. You know what I mean? I mean, if you, once you drill it out, it's pretty much dead. There's no way to really re-rivet it. <clears throat> you can't get that size rivet. It's very, very difficult to rebuild it. And I'm not sure if you can even get the gears far. There's little plastic gears inside this motor. And you'll see it uh, when I get to it. You'll see how it uh, comes apart. Took a little bit of time, but take it if you're gonna do this, take it to like I said, you have nothing to lose. It's already it already doesn't work. So what's the point, right? So that's what I figured. So I guess kept on doing my thing, kept on drilling it out. And that's a nice clock radio, too bad it was in really good condition, but I'll sell everything for parts, no problem. So as you can see, I'm still I'm still working on it, still trying to get it open. And you, uh, take your time, a little bit of patience with this. Be careful with the drill. Make sure you're using a uh, drill bit that is for metal. You don't want to use a wood bit. You want to use a metal bit. Uh, and I'll leave all the descriptions below on bits you can use, the drill that I used, and you can get an idea of the different tools that I use for this project as well. Um, and also, if you get a, a, um, a clock radio like this and it doesn't work, you can always salvage parts. People always look for parts, so don't throw it away. 
Sometimes parts are worth more money than the actual clock itself. You can sell the tuner. You can sell the flip mechanism. You can sell this motor I'm taking apart. <clears throat> now, the gears are probably no good, but the actual motor itself still works. So if someone can actually repurpose the motor, you can sell that motor probably for $25. The flip mechanism, you can probably sell for like $40, maybe $35, $40. Bucks. You can sell the chassis. You can sell the speaker. Or you can sell because you can't get these parts anymore. So parts are really more valuable almost than the item itself. The clock by itself in working condition is worth about $60 to $75, but the parts can be worth almost $100. So... You know, sometimes you have to look at that as well. So look at the parts. Uh, like I said, if you can take it apart, you have, if you're mechanically inclined to do so, then do it. You know, cut it out. Don't be afraid. You know, snip the wires, take everything out. And that's pretty much what I did. I, I pretty much got this clock, and I'm going to sell everything separately. I'm going to sell the the chassis. I'm going to sell the tuner. If someone has exact model, they need a tuner. There it is, a tuner. It's all clean and serviced, ready to go. Uh, the flip clocks, you really can't get those at all. So that's really nice. So there's the motor. So I took it all apart. I finally drilled it and got the, the back off, the plastic, the, the gears, and the motor worked fine. So the motor is good, so I will sell that motor. But there's the gear section that you couldn't get off because it's riveted. You can't get it off. So eventually I got this back plate off. And we take a look at that together and we'll see. And I just, I had to see what was going Like I said, nothing to lose. I don't think anybody's ever done this on YouTube. Take it actually apart, the actual motor itself, and you don't, you don't really see it. So this is the problem right there. That one little tiny gear that I'm showing you, it's worn out, stripped, shrunk, dead. That's the problem, the intermittent. So the, the, the gear wouldn't sit on top of the other gear and wouldn't drive the train, basically. So it would just intermittently work and stop and just, it just wasn't good enough. So it wasn't working. So that's the problem with this. This little tiny gear here, I'm not sure if you can get it. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. I can't put it back together anyway. So that gear is junk. And that's pretty much wrong with this. So if it doesn't run, it's that the rest of the gears are fine. So I will sell those other gears because you never know. People will, might want those gears. I will just put it together as a flip clock gear package. And I'll sell those gears maybe for $15 because you can't get those gears. Maybe another person needs a different gear. And I, I cleaned up this motor here. This The motor works fine. I'll sell that motor probably $20, $25. And then the rest of it, as you can as you can see. So that's what's wrong with the flip clock. It stopped flipping. It, like I said, the, the motor worked, no problem. The light's on. You can see it. It's a great clock. So I hope you learned something. I hope it brought some value to you uh, on this project. If you liked the video, give me a, um, a like, a thumbs up. Be great. Also, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate that. That would help me out greatly. And also, please share it in the community of Flip Clock. Uh, it's a big community, and I think it's really important to see you know, why these don't work and what's involved in taking it apart and destroying it. At least you can see what's going on. So I, I appreciate you tuning into this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And I did. I enjoyed taking this all apart, and it was fun. So great. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, and have a great day, and thanks for watching. Thank you.